You know, I don't, I, I hate to ask you about the, your, your life with Brian, but people are interested, you know, they want to, was it all glamour and flash and fun and everything and then the bubble burst? I mean, people want to know how these things happen and what they were like. Well, you, you start out and you think it's going to be a, you know, you don't think it's going to be crazy and, and, uh, you don't know what it's going to be like, you know, but you start out with a normal type of marriage and who knows what, you know, life has in store for you. Well, how is it being married to a famous person? It was great. Really? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I had a lot of fun. I got to travel a lot. I got to meet a lot of people. I think it, it makes you grow up real fast mm -hmm. and uh, you get to live the exciting things that most people dream about. Like? Like uh, meeting famous people, like having a lot of money. Uh, having maids, you know. Sure. That kind Good of tables at restaurants, right? right and fancy right, food and stuff right. like that. But after a while, do you get... All, no, I'll tell you, the best part about it, I think, is just being with someone exciting who's yeah. not boring. Brian wasn't boring at all. He was fun. He's a real kick. Do you ever get sick of it all, though? I mean, you know, people, you, you can get jaded if you have too many good things. I, You know, too many airplanes or too many cars or too many boats. And finally, people say, well, you know, we've got everything. Who needs all this? You just get jaded by it all. Did that happen to you or Brian at all? Not really. Uh, Brian and I weren't pretentious in that way. We really weren't. Um, I don't... No, that he did crazy things. You know, he, he used his money in a different way. Like, mm -hmm. he'd go into a store and he'd see a display of maybe a whole uh, line of uh, Tiffany lamps. And he'd look and he'd go, I want all of them. Right. I want them just the way they are. And he'd buy, you know, 10 Tiffany lamps, have them installed ex the exact way they right. were in the store in our home. Right. So that was fun. Yeah. All right, let's take the first caller from Aaron Wilson on the line. You're on the air. Why don't you go ahead, please? Hello. Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Fine. I just wanted to ask one question. I am in rock and roll. Uh, how was it back then as far as with you traveling with the guys, their wives and girlfriends? How did all of you get along? Uh, everyone got along real well. Uh, Brian really stopped touring after around, oh, I would say, maybe three years. Uh, you know, he couldn't tour anymore. It was just too stressful for him. He couldn't be the, the uh, creative force of the Beach Boys anymore in that way. And uh, so we really didn't have that much of a touring life together. But when we did, it was a lot of fun. What about the jealousy that women might have for the groupies and the women hangers on for these rock stars? I mean, let's face it, they attract uh, very attractive ladies. They do, they do. And, uh, well, <laughs> what could they're there and uh you know you try and give them the space to be there and you know that they're buying the records and you just hope that they're not going to you know stab you in the back which a lot of them do i'm mainly you know i do i really don't mind groupies i just mind the people that gave brian drugs to you know th because they loved him and they wanted to do good for him and do anything he wanted could you see that coming oh sure you yeah. could you could see a person just like that you know i mean uh, brian and i used to really fight about that a lot because i could see it and he couldn't but he always went after the eccentric anyway you know he could walk into a room and if there were a hundred people in there and there was one person that was a little bit weird or different or different he'd go right to him because that that's what makes a, a genius really i think next caller on the line won't you go ahead please you're on the air yeah hi tom hi uh marilyn i just wanted to say that uh during the time that you were dating brian i used to live up the block from you on sierra bonita in west hollywood there ah, what's <laughs> your name Actually, your sister Diane knows me better. Huh. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you two quick questions. One, I know you're getting back with the honeys again. Uh-huh. Is Ginger in that group still? Yes, Ginger Blake is my cousin and my sister Diane Ravel. Is she still married to Jack? Pardon me? Is Ginger still married to Jack? Huh? No. Oh, no. Well, let's, okay. let's get her on here, too, and yeah, talk yeah. about no, the Ginger is time. single at the moment, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. okay. and Diane, in fact, we're all single, all three of us. 